Hello and welcome everyone to part one of my Saxon Let's Play for Total War Attila. It joins my lineup of Attila Let's Plays, including the Huns, now the Saxons, Danes, and a co op with Malekith Skadi. He'll be playing as the Western Roman Empire, I'll be playing as the Eastern Romans. And you'll see the first parts of all those Let's Plays, bar the Huns, which will be getting part three, um, courtesy of CA allowing me to start that series a little bit early uh, last week. Uh, those will all be uploading throughout the rest of the day. This is release day for Attila, so I hope that uh, you're enjoying the game. Uh, if you find yourself onto my videos and Let's Plays, I hope you enjoy, whether you're both a uh, new or old subscriber. Hello, welcome. We're going to be starting off the Saxons now. Playing on hard difficulty, as I am with all my Let's Plays for Attila at launch. We've got the New Kingdom trait, which gives us a building conversion rate of minus 50. Saxon Shore, income plus 100 for every... 10% damage caused to settlements during a battle and integrity plus 4 when raiding which is very useful with uh, Attila's various um, kind of destruction mechanics that you have setting things on fire during a settlement not only reduces morale but for the Saxons gets them more money we've got an initial challenge of hard and uh, I'll talk about the various uh, problems we may have and which factions we'll have to watch out for once we get onto the campaign map with Germanic paganism and our faction leader is Gruis so I hope you'll sit back relax and enjoy part one of the Saxons for Total War Attila The air was filled with smoke and blood. Rome was weak. The tribes grew in strength and number. Their roots went deep, and they felt the earth's blood pounding through the land. Their borders were threatened, for a great storm raged in the east. One by one, the tribes scattered as seeds in the wind. And behold, a red horse, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The blood of their kin would be avenged. Great hunters, they tempered their blades in Roman blood and saw their once mighty walls reduced to dust. They made ready for war. The South is in turmoil, distracted by petty conflict and the westward migration of the Huns. Therefore, you should look elsewhere for opportunities. Rome has all but lost its grip on Britannia, ever threatened by Celtic aggression, so you should have no trouble establishing a presence there. A long cold creeping from the north is also driving its men into action. They are formidable warriors, and could pose a great threat should they raid or attempt to conquer the mainland. Better, perhaps, to take the fight to them instead. Fight, win, and prevail, so the Saxons can carve their place in the annals of history. So, there we go. Let's carve some annals and make our mark on the land. They made ready for war. So... Welcome to the Saxons with Gruis. Looks awesome. Let's um, set up our politics and family tree that we have. We have uh, Esla here as our faction heir. And uh, his sister, uh, Wolfrith, is married to uh, Senred, statesman. We're going to make him uh, governor of Frisia. 
uh, early on. We're going to see if... Oh, no, we need, to, we need to get Elsa into the field, really, so we can boost his influence through battles and what have you. And then we need to get him to um, seek a wife. Or we could arrange a marriage, actually. Uh, Horsa is one of my potential generals. And uh, we're going to get him as a companion. Uh, political office. That, as you can see, increases personal influence per uh, per influence earning situation recruitment cost and wealth increases uh, Elsa isn't of age though he needs to be well he's of age but he needs to be uh, of age to be a companion of 18 and he needs 20 influence to join as it were so uh, we have these guys here let's just go to diplomacy uh, the angles let's see if we can get trade Welcome, worthy friend. Wait. Let us break bread and drink ale before words part Military alliance as well, actually. Might be worthwhile actually getting that early on. Then we've got a, a strength in the north. I don't want to expand up to the angles too soon. Uh, might be worth having them to help me, potentially against the Vikings and maybe against the Franks. Ah. Words can be all that is between people, but we would like trade as well, if you agree it. Okay, we'll take that. They don't want to be military allies just yet. They are pretty friendly, and it is going to only increase. So, we could make a defensive alliance, probably. There we go, being accepted. So, it's on the path to getting a military alliance with them, hopefully. Uh, the Franks. It is deteriorating, but can we... We will gladly listen to your offers, but do not trap them in lies. No, no kind of non-aggression. Although, I wonder if... Is there a ranged marriage? No. They don't, obviously don't have any kind of... Uh, daughter available. The Jutes in the north. Can arrange... Moderate. Uh, she's... Yep, yeah, got a fair bit of that. Of, uh, I say of that. Of personal influence earning. There we go. It's been accepted. Got him a wife, which will help him. Non-aggression with the Jutes. That shores up us there. The reason why I'm doing this is because I would quite like... There we go. It's improving uh, dramatically now. I would quite like to just push west. So I'm, I'm looking to potentially take out the Franks at some point, but I'm not ready to obviously do that just yet. They've got a fair few forces. We're actually going to use our second force over here to attack Camelodonum. But I'm going to go in via land to attack because by sea, my men would suffer from seasickness. So we're going to have this first battle here. We'll fight it ourselves as we go in against the Roman army. Nice large force that we have ready at our disposal. Let's jump on into the battlefield at Camelodonum. Claim our first victory as the Saxons. So, if it doesn't go for Camelodonum, you could go up higher and hit uh, Lindon, but it will take you two turns, so you won't be able to gain a settlement on turn one. And this gives us direct access to hit Camelodonum. Uh, although, I don't have any siege equipment, so I will actually have to sit there for a turn, and Rome could bring its armies down in the meanwhile, while it's trying to do that. So from here, I may actually look to push north and meet that army. I don't know. I would quite like to just build up my forces and take Londinium. Take it out as soon as possible. Uh, I should apologise if my loading times seem a bit slow, uh, especially compared to my uh, Rome 2 Let's Play. That's because on my Rome 2 Let's Plays, I have Rome 2 installed on my SSD, and I've got Attila installed on my normal hard drive. I'm going to be picking up another hard drive in a day or two so uh, another SSD that I can just plug into my PC uh, we're going to wait uh, for a dry day ideally there we go no adverse effects in we go then we can set things on fire because obviously we get a bonus from that um, which is why I'm going to get my archers to push on in here I'm going to get them into loose formation uh, we're going to split our forces up so we can attack these guys here. They're raised, raised up in the middle of the settlement. We've got multiple towers. But we'll, uh, we'll send units in from all angles to try and uh, swoop on round and defeat them. So I'm going to get these spears. There'll be one unit. They're going to actually go in with my um, with my archers here. That's my main, my main force as such. But my general is going to lead a couple of uh, brigands round the flanks. 
We'll send him in here and give him some Nordic band. And then these guys are just going to go swanning in this street over here, which is actually empty, undefended, and has no tower. Now, unfortunately, these missiles can't capture towers, but we should be able to still get in pretty reasonably. So let's start the battle, get my archers to fire on their tower first. That's where they've deployed their forces. I'm just going to deploy my spears over here. Uh, obviously, I don't have any other spears deployed elsewhere, which is going to potentially weaken our forces. Um... We try and take out their unit that they're sending towards us. Quite foolishly, actually. Uh, bring my infantry down. Support with my general. Pull these guys in behind to claim their tower. They're going to pull cavalry around this way. I saw it moving. Here we go, man. Take out these um, exploratories. They're getting absolutely wrecked by my javelins. General, come back up, come back up, come back up. Okay, you guys go in, claim the city. Forgot to put these guys on skirmish mode. General, charge on in. Okay, split up, guys. They can't chase both of you. Then you guys can turn on and face them. Here we go. General's going in. Here we go. Turn these guys around. And gals, as you can see there. Oh, nice. Pull you guys in. I don't want too much friendly fire. We can see the uh, civilians fleeing for their lives as we uh, attack. Claim their settlement. Oh, dear. Not been paying attention here. Oh, just need to pull back. It's focusing over that other side. Into their cab, please. Archers pull back. You'll be alright. These guys are broken, but they'll they'll come back. It's okay. Did we actually manage to burn their tower down at all? No, we weren't able to get that many shots on. Which is disappointing. Yeah, they both they that unit's come back. Heavy shot, please. One unit of spears on them. That's their general, their marines that they've landed from their ship. Get these guys in the center square. Pull these guys back on in. We've managed to pull the enemy forces out and distract them. We're capturing this tower here. Pull them up behind. So my spears are helping keep the enemy busy. Those marines will do a lot of damage though. Try and take out these cohorts. That's okay. They've lost half their forces so far. We've nearly got that tower, which will actually dismantle it rather than uh, than capturing. Which is kind of a shame, because it would be kind of cool to capture a watchtower, but this way we just torch it. We haven't actually torched much of their settlement. So um, we're not going to get our, our bonus there. That's it. We'll capture the... Uh, capture our territory. Oh, yeah, they're breaking my spears over here. They've got, Those marines are honestly insanely good. Uh, infantry units. And they're sending in their general. I have to send our forces in from behind to flank, but we're going to capture their square and their plaza. It's only a capture point, there's not a victory point. But it will give a battlefield wide uh, morale bonus. So that's not too bad. We can break their general, though. We will uh, pull these guys around. We will see the enemy force completely disappear, pretty much. Right, form up behind, guys. Oh, yeah, that's all my spears gone. That's not good. Put you guys on skirmish mode now. Didn't have enough support for these guys. Oh, yeah. Um, some of my units will just decide to set things on fire. I think the... Uh, Nordic Brigand did that. Or was either that or one of the arrow towers might have missed and actually started burning their own settlement. Which is good. 
and can set it on fire. That's it, hit their, hit their general in the back. They're about to hit my, my spearmen in the back. So these guys are going to really... My Saxon spears are really going to need replenishing if any of them survive. Didn't notice they were pushing out that far. But um, thankfully we've captured over here. We managed to do pretty well. So we're just going to form back up here. Form back up. General here. Take out their general if we can. Those marines honestly are in are insane. Really powerful. City's on fire. Warlord in your camp. Capture that tower. Police. Cohort should be going down. Very slowly. But we've got in behind them, we can hold their settlement now. All got a missile attack, so should do a lot of damage, which is good. Or if not, we're going to have to push up and save my men here. Which I think is what we're going to have to do, because we're about to capture that tower. Unfortunately, I'm having to run my men, so they're going to be really tired. Gather up my forces. Try and get a lucky shot on the general. But we do not do much damage. Let's see if we can pull these forces back towards the city. In fact, if I hold down shift and press R. We'll do just that. There we go. Let's take out their uh, their marines. Come on, javelin men, keep firing. There we go. There's the uh, the the dart from uh, my men. Oh, that hurt. Let's just run my general over here. He needs to get here quick. Yeah, we've broken the marines. That's good. Mobbed them there. So it's going to reform. Get these guys up here. Unfortunately, we used up all our missile troops fighting them there. Oh, no. You guys are going to get caught out if you're not quick. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Bring the cohorts towards my infantry. I'm surprised they pushed me out so much, but that really uh, that really screwed over my tactics that I had going on there. And their city is slowly starting to burn, which lowers their morale. These marines are trying to get through us, but my men are trying to kill them as they flee. And women. Flank, 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 flank. Turn and fire on the men. Oh, it's all on fire. Fire is spreading. That's good. We can see it's uh, singed out that section of the city. Bring my general into play. I know he's exhausted because I've just been running him the whole time. I'm just going to try and do some hammer and anvil strikes here against them. I don't know where the general's gone. Oh, he's, he's shown back up over here. There he is. I don't know why he's not moved in with the, with the swords. Flank on round here. Here we go. Charge. Charge him in the back. Let's improve everyone's morale here. There we go. They're broken. 
away from their general. No support. Right, now let's just go take down their general. Okay, push forward infantry. General on the flank for a nice charge. Skirmishes. We lost half our men in this engagement, pretty much. Which is not exactly how I wanted it to go, but the Roman, the Roman forces don't take, um, they do take a lot to go down. They're, uh, well, they are tier one units, same as my, my own men. They certainly are of a high quality. I mean, they're, they're heavy infantry for a start. Whereas we look at mine, it's very light melee infantry. Right, so they're going against my men here. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Go for the flanking, but importantly getting my general to charge in and flank from behind. Going to get these guys to charge around behind. So yeah, holding down um, shift and then dragging while holding down the right mouse button gives this new kind of drag control move. Which is quite accurate for, for various bits. I'm just going to get them to walk around. These guys must be exhausted. Although they're active. Don't need to swing you in such an arc, to be honest. My warlord's not going to... Not going to have healed by... Uh, well, his fatigue's not going to get back up by that point. So we'll just charge on in. In those Saxons come. Charge, 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 charge. Go, 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 go. In you come. This is going to be good, hopefully. Oh, right to the end neck. This should break this lot pretty quickly. I'm going to put another morale rally in there. In you go. There we go. Oh, no, that's my men. I thought that was the enemy for a moment. It's fine. They're broken. They'll come back. In come my bows charging in the back. Here they go. Enemy's broken. It's a win. This is our day. And enemy's dead. End battle. Was a close victory. It could have gone better, to be honest. Um, I didn't notice them charging out against my archers until it was almost too late. We did sort it out just at the last minute. But yeah, this is the problem with these Roman forces. They may only be small garrisons, but they're actually pretty well equipped. Strong, uh, heavy infantry. So, me with my army of light troops, we're going to have a tough time. That's why I need probably more skirmishers. Archers are great. Um, I always have preferred archers, but javelin men, as you've seen there, uh, do so much more damage. They are certainly your well, what you're gonna want to look to as your first choice of uh, of infantry, uh, of uh, missile troop anyway. Just taking down the heavy. Well, depending who you're facing, if you're facing up against other light units, the archers will be more than capable. Uh, the slingers as well that you can get. We can recruit some back in Frisia. Oh, got him with an axe to the, to the neck there. We lost one unit of Saxon Spears in total there. The rest have uh, managed to replenish. Well, come back. Uh, we're just going to occupy because I potentially want to keep on pushing in. I'll also get a bonus of 2% unit um, replenishment. So that'll do for now. The Wolves of War. We're going to need to replenish up for a turn or two. And I need to get Camelodonum. We need more population set plus. Uh, Camelodonum is going to cost 8 thousand eight hundred and twenty to convert seems we haven't spent much money i'm actually just gonna uh probably not spend much in my home province and then i should be able to convert that over next turn although we are we are going to repair that jetty we've not got a lot of food so we probably do need to set pastures on as well um just get going with that so i'm going to stick that on the rest of the money we're then just going to save to try and rebuild camelot on them uh i'm going to go for the um, a recruitment cost. Yeah, we'll go for regional defense force first. 
The other one doesn't have any direct uh, economic benefits straight away, so which is why I'm not bothering with it. Um, I'm going to develop land. We could do that, but I'm going to save the money for a turn. Ready for battle. We're going to we're going to hold off here with the with the Earthshakers. We could try and push against these guys down here pr um, straight away, the Langobards, but um, they're going to be pretty much the same same uh, sort of starting force off. Plus they'll have a garrison, so I will be outnumbered with that full stack. And I'd prefer to wait until I can get the uh, Saxon mounted warband. They're pretty useful. So we'll see how we do in Britain over the next turn or two. Uh, okay, I think that's what we need to do for now. So I'm going to end it, and then we can still issue an edict. Um, which we could go for construction costs and growth. We'll go for that for now. Uh, in that case, actually, I'm going to wait a turn and then build this next turn when it will cost less to build that pasture. Uh, what was the other message that we had? Unassigned skill, oh, of course, my general. He's just game one. Uh, unit experience for cavalry units? Um, no, we'll go for zeal, and then we'll go for infantry commander. A lot of the abilities, you know, they mix between uh, the generals acting as commanders in battle and admirals and what have you, but also as statesmen. Uh, again, kind of family tree being more important in Attila. Primarily because it's actually present. Um, <laughs> there's obviously various bits you can do. Oh, we've got a political obstruction because uh, I've tried to get this guy to be a companion. And I'm going to... I I could do political favours because he's not one of my, my family. That does lower his influence rather than my chieftain, which is important to keep high. So yeah, we'll do political favours. All the others managed to gain theirs, but it was... Um, this guy, wasn't it, I think? My general... Uh, no, he's got plenty. Oh, it must have been this guy, sorry. Yeah, there we go. It's statesman. And there we go. We've obviously got her uh, gun bought. His wife. She's cunning. That's good. Uh, we can get uh, a governor for Britannia. I'll put Horsa in there. Oh no, I've reached the maximum number of governors. Sorry, I need to increase my Imperium. Uh, which we should be able to see here. Yeah. Governors one of one. Which is why we can't raise any more armies. So these guys are replenishing. I could obviously put some mercenary Saxon Lancers, which would be pretty cool. That charge bonus is insane. Uh, we could throw a few uh, Nordic Levy in. Uh, they're not going to help a huge amount. We'll convert that over next turn. Hopefully. We could repair it, but we still need to convert. We'll have enough money to do that next turn. Uh, I am going to... Yeah, we've got that going. Could build the pastures. That will reduce construction cost. Um, so, in fact, rather than building that straight away, I'm actually going to wait one more turn, convert Camelodonum, and then we're okay. So, I'm just going to do another quick end turn. And then we can uh, convert Camelodonum over to a village of... Saxon. Which will be good. As you can see, the Western Roman Empire were at war with, so their name shows up in red. Nice little tweaks and changes. But we want to keep pushing while we still can. Uh, while the, Before the Romans decide to shore up their defences. Population surplus. Okay, I think that's just enough funding, isn't it? Oh, there we go. It's actually gone less, which is good, because it's slowly um, repaired as well over time. So we can convert that over. Uh, and so do we gain tech, uh, or rather research rate increased, and tax rate in the local province is increased. We'll be able to build that next turn. We've got, for that, uh, got that technology going. Uh, we go for smithy, upkeep for melee units, or ammunition. I'm going to go for... Militarized society reduces some upkeep there. Could start building them up, but I'm not going to just yet. Um, when we can build, actually, we will build that up. Uh, I wouldn't mind going for. Hmm, I doubt we can do it in Camelodonum, but I'd like to get somewhere where we can get a spy. 
Um, sanitation, sanitation is province, artisan, Nordic hurlers. We're probably, yeah, going to want to build the uh, sacred ground actually to get the influence of Germanic paganism growing in this region. Eventually, we don't need to build anything yet. We won't get slums or anything like that. As far as I know, there's nothing like that in Attila. We've got AM air. <laughs> nice. Right. Well, I'm going to go for another, another quick end turn and just see if anything happens. If not, we're going to wrap up. So I do hope you've enjoyed this first part. Obviously, had our first battle as we try and uh, push into Britain. Hopefully, we can push towards London. Uh, as always, I welcome your war council and comments. All I ask is that ideally you're constructive with them. Um, Western Roman Empire moving some ships up, or rather moving an army in transport. They're pulling some forces down from, from the north. I think they're gathering some forces at, uh, at Londinium. So we may have a bit of a tough time there. They've got a fleet just off the coast over here. Uh, I might see if I can get the Franks to actually declare war against the Western Roman Empire to give me a bit of a reprieve. So we'll have a see if they'll do that before we move on. Construction cost oh, it's for religious buildings, good. And we've encountered the Geats. That's perfect for our religious costs. Um, oh, we weren't actually in that settle. Oh, no, we were. We're now a ship. I don't want that. I want to be an army. Ah, we found some Romans outside of Camelodonum. So you guys can uh, can decide. Should we, should we sally out and hit them? Should I potentially look before I do that as well to uh, bring some Saxon lancers with me? Uh, but before we do anything else, they're finally getting their pastures. Uh, we're going to see about the Franks. But uh, yeah, feel free to throw that in. Uh, schedule video for this series and more will be out um, later on today. So if you're wondering when this will be uploaded, uh, it will tell you all in that schedule. Oh, don't mean to demand it, sorry. Offer. Nope. Uh, I can't really offer much more than that at the moment. I mean, they're only... They're slowly improving. Now speak. No, they won't take anything. So, that's what I'm going to wrap up for now, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the Legion. Until next time. Ciao for now.